I'm Todd Matthews. This is Matthews of the Morning. I'll tell you, though, there's nothing quite as significant as the heartbreak of, of being injured in an accident and having the insurance company or, or somebody tell you, nah, we're not going to help. That, that's why we present. That's the basis for the reason for going on 11 years. We've presented Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Largely answering questions submitted by you. I'll tell you how to submit a question here in just a moment. But first, would you please help me welcome Bruce Elshiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this rainy morning? Eh, soggy like almost everybody else. How about you? Well, I'm just happy to be upright and, and able, able to enjoy another day in southwest Florida. Yeah, I mean, you know, weather is going to do what it's going to do, and plenty of things to be grateful for in spite of it. And and that would be, uh, including you, as far as I'm concerned, you are such a valuable resource for us to learn more about the law. And like I said uh, before introducing you, if you've been in an accident and people are turning a deaf ear, this is really the important segment of the morning. Are you ready for today's question? I am ready, Todd. All right, let's see what we have here today. The email says... I was in a big box store two weeks ago with my wife. My wife left me to go to a different aisle, and all of a sudden, I heard her scream. When I arrived, she was lying on the floor in a puddle. One of the store employees called over the manager, who immediately called an ambulance. The manager told us the roof had been leaking and that he had already called back the roofing company, which was supposed to have repaired the roof earlier in the week. The manager said this was the third leak in the aisle that day. My wife broke her hip and will need to have it replaced. When we contacted the big box stores insurance, they claimed it was the roofer's responsibility and they were not liable. Turns out the roofing company doesn't have any insurance. Can you ask the lawyer what we should do? A lot of moving parts once again, Bruce. Where would you begin on something like this? Well, it happens to be a lot um, more simple than it, it appears to be. Oh, good. good. Anytime you go shopping in a store, the store has a duty to provide a safe place to shop. So if there's a you know wet area on the floor in the store and the store is aware of it, they have a duty to make that place safe. Mm-hmm. They either have to put um, a rope around it, you know, block off the area. Right. But they just can't let people walk through the store. Now, you know, the roofer would also be liable, but the roofer's responsibility doesn't take away the responsibility of the store to provide a safe place to shop. Mm. So fortunately, that person is still okay because they could go after the store for their full measure of damages. You know, with a hip replacement, that's a very, very expensive uh, medical oh, procedure. And painful. And uh, there's a lot of pain and suffering and inconvenience involved. Yeah. And we don't know, but if that poor woman, you know, was employed, she's going to lose a lot of wages. So there's a lot to be recovered here. And, you know, the injured person should immediately call an experienced personal injury lawyer. Here's what my fear would be. With all the rain we've been having the last few days, I can see them hurrying up and finally fixing the roof, you know, permanently. And and th- that's not going to bode well for somebody who wants to come, like an investigator that wants to come and take photos or, or gather evidence. Am I right about that? You are right about that. But, um, you know, they they acknowledged that the area was wet and, and yeah, that's true. they had that's true. three incidences yeah. prior to that day. So I, I think they'll be okay from that standpoint. Okay. But, um, you know, it, it's just a case where, they should contact the lawyer right away, uh-huh. and the lawyer could send his investigative staff out there to get witness statements mm-hmm. to take photos of the area. There might even be, because most stores have uh, you know video camera coverage, there might even be video of the incident that could be gathered before it gets written over or something like that. I agree, Todd. That's, uh, okay. 
a shame that they let that happen. It, it really is. And it's a shame that the follow through isn't there, too, that now this poor woman's being told, nope, we're not, we're not going to help you. That's the worst part. But that's what, you know, I know you say frequently when it comes to insurance, uh, they never pay if they can that's, get away with that's it. it. And I'm surprised that the box store, you know, has yeah. that attitude. Yeah, that's a shame. But you've got the answer. Get a hold of a professional quickly. Let's get the ball rolling. Thank you for that. That's um, definitely, uh, we're looking a lot better now than when we started this question, and that's thanks to you, Bruce, and your knowledge and your your experience. Thank you. You're very welcome, Todd. I look forward to speaking to you next week. All right, sir. Stay dry in the meantime. We'll talk to you next week. Take care. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye. Everybody's suffering the same fate right now. Just so wet and soggy, but... Tell you what, this is when slip and fall accidents can crop up all of a sudden, and that's when you'll need the help of an attorney like Bruce L. Shiner. Now, let me back up for a second here and say that if you would like to submit a question for future consideration, you can do so through our website. You just put the keyword Bruce in the search box, and I'll take you where you need to go. If you've been injured, I would recommend you directly calling the Port Charlotte office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner. That number is 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. And get help right away. And tell them Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.